Good to see you there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm in a weird mood today. It's been one heck of a day, but I figured I wanted to do a really quick video and show everybody the equipment I use to film my airsoft videos. I film a lot of videos for various industries in, on the YouTube space, and I kind of took what I have and I've kind of applied it to the whole airsoft thing. I am not prepared to shoot airsoft gameplay. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I film it and then see where I can improve. I see what some of the other guys are doing. And I've taken notes of everything that's going on in the industry and I'm kind of building my own kit, if you will. But I just wanted to show you my kit for filming and we'll just kind of do a show and tell, see what's going on and go from there. First thing I'm gonna do before I show you guys what I have going on, I just wanna talk about what I'm going to add to my kit. Now from Brain Exploder, I'm getting the dual run cam two. So it's basically a camera facing forward and a camera facing back. I'm gonna run that. And I'm gonna run either the GoPro or the Insta360 cam. We'll get into that once I start showing you what we have and what we're using. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that I wanted to add that to my kit because it kind of seems to be an industry standard for getting those sweet kills on camera. So we'll add that, that is something that's in the works. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the Insta360 camera. This is something I got just specifically for Airsoft. I didn't get this for any other reason. So this is the Insta360. This guy here, this is the 1R with the 360 mod. So you film 360 video, it's basically VR video. You can, on your phone when you're watching on YouTube, look around and see everything that I can see. This is an awesome little camera. It's a very neat perspective. People seem to enjoy the Airsoft gameplay from that camera. So it's something in the future, especially in bigger games, I'm probably going to run that. We'll see how it goes. I did, however, have to get a different mounting system. I had to get the camera up higher. Generally, you see a lot of guys tucking their, their GoPros down upside down and it fits nicely. Well, filming in 360, you're not gonna want your secondary camera looking directly at your forehead because I don't want you guys just staring at my forehead. So I'm gonna link this little arm that I got to get that bad boy up higher in case you ever want to run an Insta360 on your GoPro mount. Now, big shout out to Bam Bam Airsoft. He gave me a link to this GoPro mount, like a $7 mount from uh, Amazon. I was skeptical, you know, it's like $7, that thing's gonna be chintzy. Slapped it on here, ran it multiple times. I probably have over eight hours running running this mount and I have not had an issue with it. anything cracking, falling off, losing a GoPro. I do have my straps here on the helmet and this is a matrix bump helmet. I have them locked on here. So if the off chance it would fall off, my, uh, my straps will keep it in place. Next up, the GoPro 8 Black. So this camera here has been a safe go-to for many of my YouTube endeavor uh, on the other channels. It is a great B camera into something you set up down range and you just kind of let it do its thing or set up in a different, a secondary position or a hard to reach position or a position that's gonna get a lot of abuse. That's what I used this for. However, playing airsoft, I've been using this as a helmet mounted camera. It is a great camera to catch a wide, wide field of view. The eight has great stabilization. I enjoy the stabilization and you can film at a higher resolution. Looks pretty nice. So I like this camera. I should upgrade at some point in time, but I'm not going to do it right now because I want to get a weapon mounted camera first. So we do have a drone. It is the DJI Mini 2. This little guy is great and I will link some footage right there for you to check out a tour of Ambush Adventure Park. You can kind of see me flying around and stuff like that. For the money, you can't beat this drone. They just released another uh, model. It's a little more expensive. I still think this is great little drone for, for the money. Uh, I really enjoy this. You can get some nice top-down videos with it. You could run recon with it. Something we thought about doing, we've had a few situations where we could, like one, it'll fit in a Pelican case, a real small Pelican case. So we just take that out on the field, throw the drone out there and do uh, recon. We've actually thought about getting this up right at the start of the game and getting on walkie talkies, just comms and like, you know, squad to head this way. I don't know, something weird like that. We really want to incorporate that into our gameplay footage one of these days. So we're gonna have to put a little bit of time and effort into basically getting that accomplished, but it, it will happen. So that's kind of where we're at with using the drone for, for that. And just kind of the recon aspect is gonna be cool. So I'm kind of rambling on about it, but you guys, you guys get the gist. Really great little drone for the money. And because we're not flying it commercially, uh, 
you don't need a pilot's license for this drone in particular because of its weight, depending on where you live. Obviously here in Pennsylvania, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're not getting paid to fly this drone, so we, can, we don't need our pilot's license. Just get it up in the air and do your thing, so good stuff. And sometimes you need a camera that has a decent zoom, in-body stabilization, and long battery life, long record time, yada, yada, yada. So this is the Sony MC88. I pre-ordered this when it first came out. I just needed a great little camera that I could do run and gun, uh, basically video production. This is what I went with. It just kind of gives me the ability to do that. Uh, batteries are relatively affordable, dual SD card slot. So that's really nice built in ND filters. So, I mean, this thing is it's extremely versatile. Uh, does have the carry handle on top with all that stuff. I take it down to fly, especially when I'm in Texas and some of the other places we frequent. So uh, sunscreen, sun shade on, on the front. It does have Zeiss glass in it. So it's got decent glass and uh, the processor. It's, I mean, it's, it's decent. It's a decent little camera. Basically everything you need in uh, a handheld to, to shoot run and gun style video. Where this comes into play for the Airsoft Endeavor this is used for uh, video review, stuff like that out of the range. I'll link a video right here where I exclusively use this camera. And, you know, I use it for uh, just being able to zoom, you know, having that capability. And it's just, like I said, set it up, forget about it. The screen flips around so I can basically be in like selfie mode like I am right now. I'm filming on the latest version of the iPhone with uh, the cinematic mode turned on. So I get this nice bokeh effect, which is good it looks it looks nice especially with the proper lighting it's not necessarily the proper lighting i just threw some lights out so there's that but really don't need to talk about this all that much the sony mc like i said is more of my run and gun video camera for other other people when i'm filming them so not necessarily for airsoft you will never see me with this out on the airsoft field unless there's a team out there that wants me to film you so keep that in mind if you want someone to film you wink wink Tactical cameraman inbound. That's a 17 kill strike, by the way, that I unlock and then film for you. Just kidding. All right, so bonus round. Really quick, when I'm editing pictures and video, well, we'll just focus on video right now. So when I'm editing video, I will shoot on, there you go, breaking down all of my stuff. This video was just kind of a show and tell, nothing really important. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you on the field. Let's get it. It was a terrible, terrible way to end the video.